So it's to give, you put controls in to give context to your tree. If you didn't have any controls in there, it would be hard to determine whether the dentist was truly guilty or not, because you can't, you can't tell. You'd see all the patient ones and all the dentist ones related to each other. Whereas if you put in controls, it helps you pull out the fact that, I think, I think most people have colored their trees now, that the dentist is responsible for transmitting the HIV virus to some of his patients, but some of them just seem to have got the HIV virus from somewhere else. So any ideas how you would select a control? How would, what kind of people would you put in there for the control? Well, not people, but, you know, strains. Well, it has to be, it has to be the HIV virus, yeah. So where would you get those strains from? Would you get them from a lab? You get them from patient, people that haven't had contact with him. Yeah, the, with so they patient. have to have not had contact with him. But do you remember the thing when we looked at the Staph aureus and we saw that the English strains are different to the international strains. So you get differences in geography. Mm -hmm. So where do you think these H the control HIV strains should be from? Somewhere else. Somewhere else? Yeah. Why? Um, so we'll be sure that um, that's a different strain that is not connected to the one that... Uh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. But if you take it from somewhere else, to so say this was in Florida, mm -hmm. if you took HIV strains from Britain, then maybe the reason why they're different is they're different is just because of geography. Maybe it's because they've been separated for so long that they're not really evolving together. They're separate. Do you see what I mean? So ideally, and it's it's hard to determine, but ideally for your controls, you want them from the same place. So you want them from Florida, but that have definitely not been to that dentist. But there are limitations in that because maybe they haven't been to the dentist but one of their friends has, or somebody they know has, and then they've, they've contracted it that way. So it, it's, it's really difficult to, to determine, yeah. But he's definitely guilty. He was definitely found guilty on some counts. And how, how confident can you be? When, when you look at the tree, how confident can you be? Did anyone get an idea of confidence from the tree? You look at the bootstrap values, yeah, yeah. So the higher the value, the more confident you are that uh, that, that branch is in that location. And we've concluded that the dentist is semi-guilty. He's certainly associated with some of the transmission events. It's perhaps hard to say which, which way, um, but he's definitely, yeah, associated with some of them, maybe not with other ones.